everyone, welcome back to the Curious Shelf. You are joining me on a, it's cold, it's drizzly, it's Brussels, yay! You're joining me on a mid-September's um, evening in Brussels. Yes, this is the Creator Shelf and um, welcome to new subscribers, welcome to those who already know me. Um, so um, it's fantastic to be back basically. I did take a two week break, I think I needed it because basically I was just overwhelmed with different projects and um, I'm doing a lot of creative stuff right now as well and I just found myself spreading myself very thin and you know when the quality just really really dips and I was just like okay I, I can't do it all so I did have like a couple of weeks of just a breather um, but I am back I'm back because a I need to do a video in the next few days which is going to be a response to Kyra uh, Kyra Gretchel, I think her name is, um, who's done a fantastic new tag called Living in the Tarot. So that's coming up for you this week. This week, yes. And then, um, and so, yes, yeah, so for today, because it's already late evening and um, I'm filming this around quarter to nine at night, basically. So I was just like, okay, I need to make this one a little bit more simple this time. Um, but I thought I'd do an unveiling, unwrapping me with a pair of scissors attacking a deck basically. So um, I'm going to get to that. Um, on a side note, if you're new to this channel, yes, these, this is my Halloween decoration. It's out again this year. Um, I do like to decorate the shelf and um, if you're thinking, yes, there will be decor for Yule slash Christmas too. Basically, the more hideous and the more quiche and the more distasteful, the better basically with me. Um, I love decorating the shelf. I love having fun with it and it just makes my space my living space brighter i like that so anyway without further ado let me get to the doodle tarot now this tarot deck um i bought from bois du coupe in france so um they're stocking it i had seen it on a few channels i'd seen it on um shuffle tarot i think nina from shuffle tarot showed it and um truth be told first of all i'm a huge journaler i've been journaling for nearly 15 years every single day um, there are times I have skipped actually I should say but it's a really big part of my life it's a big part of my practice I carry little mini journals in my purse I have a proper journal for the home um, sometimes I split it in my life I have a morning journal an evening journal sometimes you know I have a separate this is separate from tarot journaling which is like a whole nother area but <laughs> I just have a normal journal for capturing my thoughts and um, well, I, sh I shouldn't say normal I mean they're all journals but I carry a journal just for pure writing. It's very private, it's very intimate. I love it, I need it. You know, it's a part of my life. So I first and foremost always connect with the idea of composition notebooks and notebooks and journals and blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, and so anyway, I, I kind of like, you know, I something grabbed my attention. Secondly, I am not a... Now I've seen some really cute inner child decks, you know, like I think it's called Crazy Bunny, Crazy Bunny, Cookie Bunny, some kind of a bunny. I've seen it's a Dexterny deck. I know Marine over Waves of Your Soul has it. I've seen that deck, that appealed to me, but generally I'm not a inner child, whatever you want to call it, person deck. I do inner child work, but I don't. I don't really, the decks don't really appeal to me. And because also I'm being very careful about how much I have and like a cluttered shelf, blah, blah, blah. Generally, I've been kind of like avoiding just pouncing on anything. Anyway, I saw this and the journal in me just appealed to her and I, I found it cute. So I bought it. Now there are two editions of this deck. There is one with keywords and there's one without keywords. The one with keywords, it's along the bottom, I'm getting a lot of shine off this, it's along the bottom, one section you'll have keywords coming up um, if the car is upright, the other side, three keywords if the car is in card is in reversal. This makes a brilliant deck if you are a learner or if you're reading with people and they also just wanna understand the, the card very quickly. Um, so just, you know, as a beginner's deck, I think it is amazing. Now, let me just read the back of it because I think it's fun to do that. So, welcome to the world of tarot. Um, before I forget, I know I'm going to make a mess of this. This, this deck is by M.K. Holloway. I forget. Okay, so now the back of it. Welcome to the world of tarot. It says, new to tarot? Never thought you could read tarot by yourself? Are your friends scared when you try to read their fortunes? 
Does tarot intimidate you? If you said to any of these questions, then Doodle Tarot is the deck for you. With, these, with this fun, simple, school-like deck, we gently introduce you to the world of divination. Not only are they easy to read, but you get a fun booklet to, go, uh, to teach you how and amazing are uh, and um, stick figures to simplify the cards. You'll love working with Doodle Tarot and sharing it with your friends and family. And then it's also, you know, it's also given the, the name of the website as well, so you can go and have a look at other products and so forth. So there you go. First off the bat, the packaging just looks immaculate. You know, it's sealed, but it just looks immaculate. It's one of these um, boxes. I'm just going to take the plastic seal off. See, I had this on my desk for a few days and I thought, oh, I'll open it, I'll open our screen, you know, just for a bit of fun. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is it. This is this is the deck. Let me let me get it close. There you go. Um, lovely matte box straight off the bat. It is magnetic. Yep, there you go. I know everybody likes to do this, so there we go. I like straight off the bat the fact that this looks like a book. I mean, just a notebook. I mean, just composition notebook style. I just yeah. And then there's doodles on the front already, which just, yeah, I just love it. I think, I think the creator has done a fantastic job. And then it says, like, like a notebook, it says, this deck belongs to, oh, this, yeah, I, yeah, this is just really me. So yeah, very, very glad. It even comes with an authentication card. So let's get this out, first of all. Is there anything, oh, look at the inside. Okay, so my copy, before I forget to mention, my copy is the non-keyword edition. And the reason why I have the non-keyword edition is because um, I wanted a deck where I got the full picture. So yeah. So first of all, it comes with an authentication card. It says, this is a card of authentication, pro proving that this deck is, the first, is a first edition of Doodle Tarot, a study tech for beginners. With your help, this deck has become a reality. Um, your belief in the possibilities of my vision has been a driving force for me. I appreciate you all for helping me fulfill my dream. Thank you, signed MK Holloway. And look at that first card. Okay, these are the backs. Composition style notebook. This is the edging, which I love. Okay, I have this thing right now with... You know, this like the, the Living Altar deck, it has that red edging. I've seen um, when Ada Carter, uh, Gigi did her um, video of uh, the Daniel Noel, the new one, uh, the Ocean's Oracle. It had that beautiful like turquoise kind of like edging. So I am, I've got something going on right now with edging. I don't know what it is. Um, like I like the gaudy gold or silver, but I'm really digging the colored edging too. Anyway, so there you go. So let's just start doing a flip through of these cards and then we're going to look at the booklet. Okay, let me just move things out of the way a little bit. Okay, there you go. There's the fool. Okay, the magician. The, the cards are thick, they're sturdy, they're matte, rose petal, but I think they're going to be very easy to shuffle. Just 100% quality. Quality. Okay, number one, the magician. I just love this. I think it's so cool. Okay, high priestess. I love I love the way she's used felt tips. I use felt tips to this day. There is a pencil case on my desk right now with a bunch of felt tips in it. That's how much I love felt tips. So yeah. Um, the empress. The emperor. This is just like inspiring me to actually doodle more in my own journals. This is what it's doing to me already. It's like, yes, the hierophant. I like that face. <laughs> and I like the tea. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> the lover's card. I like this. They look happy. <laughs> and then it says, call me. Two, 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 one. <laughs> I just love this. I just, yeah. The chariot. Strength. If she does another deck or she does an oracle, I'm so getting it. I already know that I'm so getting it. I might even get the keyword edition just for pos posterity or whatever you want to call it. The hermit. I love her colors. I love the felt tips. 
the marker pens she's used. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Should do it. Yeah, I, I particularly like, I, I don't know what that is. There. It says patience. So there's a little words here. Patience, freedom, virtue, strength. Oh, so good. Justice. So yeah, she's followed the, the, the original biblical meanings there, which is quite cool. I, I like that very much. The original from Tara de Masse. Good, bad. <laughs> if you're on the fence about this deck, I think about five cards in, I'm already sold. Justice, the hanged man, death. I like how they don't look so happy, but that guy looks happy. This kid looks a bit scared. It says rest of you. I just, I want to look at the details in my own time too. Now, Emma, M, sorry, not Emma, sorry. M, M has signed the bottom of these cards. Very cool. I love that. Temperance. She looks very blissful and happy. The devil, they don't clump together. I like, you know what this cardstock is? If you have the Living Altar deck, it's it's basically the same cardstock. Quality, absolute stunning quality. The devil, number 15, 16, the tower. Yes, the star. The moon. This deck is just so unthreatening and fun. It's just fun, the sun. Judgment. Oh, I like the fact she's out and she's made sure that's going to eat. So there's the big eye. <laughs> I love, you know, how it's, you, you know, you're in a book, basically. Um, the world. Ace of Pentacles and now we're into the minors. And I like the fact that even though it's just such simple drawings, she's not made it into a pip deck. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles, <laughs> five of Pentacles. Oh, they look miserable. I love this. Uh, six of Pentacles, seven of Pentacles, eight of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles, ten of Pentacles, page of Pentacles, knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. He looks so blissful and just happy. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords. I like the Three of Swords in this. Four of Swords. I like how the light is coming in and cast. Yeah, I like that so much. Five of Swords. Very cool five of swords, especially you look so annoyed. Six of swords. Oh, I like the six of swords. You know, it's got that deep, it's got that deepness and that somberness, but at the same time, there's a smart. It's like, you know, there's there's some hope there, and you can see there's hope there. I like that. Seven of swords. <laughs> Trickster, but funny. And then it says four, four swords for sale. <laughs> I like that. A thief. Eight of swords. Nine of Swords. Oh, I like that. Under the bed. Ten of Swords. Oh. <laughs> Can you get more swords going into his back? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is so cool. Um, oh, yeah, I haven't got anything stuck together here, have you? Page of Swords. Oh, I love her. Oh, she's so cool. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. King of Swords, okay, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, oh, I like them, they look so, they look happy, blissful, Three of Cups, <laughs> and also, I just, sorry, I, I, I forgot to say, I should have said it, you know, you've got such great gender neutrality, you've got, um, we've got, you know, we don't have, like, you know, it's a big issue, of course it is, our colour of skin, this is just everyone's in here, you know? For me, anyway, it feels like that. Everyone's in here. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Oh, I love this Six of Cups. Seven of Cups choices. 
Choices, choices. <laughs> I love that monster coming out, <laughs> the devil. <laughs> oh, it's like a little kid peeking out. Oh, and there's the home. There's the wreath. What's that? I think that's meant to be the riches. And there's the serpent. And there's the ghost, yeah. Eight of cups. And look, little doodles in the cups. Nine of cups. Looks very smug. Ten of cups. Oh, I like this. Even though I find the ten of cups a very difficult card in so many ways, um, I know some people um, reflect on the fact that, of course, you know, to do with gender, which I appreciate definitely, gender, sexuality, and so forth. The other aspect of the Ten of Cups for me, which is always, you know, I just want to mention it, is that, you know, we don't all come from a, a two-parent home. Um, we don't always have this background. I relate to not having that. So for me, it's very sensitive. I like this because, yes, it's drawing the happy picture, but I don't find it as over the top as it usually is. I know all the tens for me, so I was talking to, I think it was Nancy about this, that, you know, the, or we were, it was in the comments, you know, the ten, tens are an oversaturation, you know, that's that original Golden Dawn feeling of oversaturation. This does not feel as cheesy and as like, I don't know, fantasy. That's just me. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Ace of Wands, I like the ones in a, in a deck, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, oh that's a very cool Three of Wands, Four of Wands, I like that, Five of Wands, <laughs> a little miserable, Six of Wands, oh I like that Six of Wands, that's so cheerful, Seven of Wands, fighting them off, Eight of Wands, very nice and simple, I love it, Nine, oh wait, hold on a second. I should mention, there you go, you got faces again in there. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Oh, I like that Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. One of the reasons why I bought this deck. Do you see that Queen of Wands? And King of Wands. Okay, so that was the Doodle Tarot. So let's take a look at the guidebook now i'm trying to get all of these cards together without without messing them up to be quite honest with you right now uh, <laughs> i want to study the deck a bit before i start to read with it i don't know i just want to study it a little bit because i find the details so interesting okay so let's just randomly split it open oh ace of cups so that's what i've opened it to this is the ace of cups so let's move this out of the way. Let me get the Ace of Cups here for you. Okay, and let me get the guidebook, which is over there. Okay. So what we've got is we've got for the majors, a whole page. For the minors, I think we're getting a paragraph. So it is quite short, but I think this is meant to be a non, how can I put it, a non-fussy deck. It's just cute, non-fussy, fun. I think I've gone past the cups. Hold on a second, let me get the cups back again. Okay, let me just see, hold on. So the courts are at the back separate. That's where I've gone a bit messy. Okay, so. Okay, sorry, I just couldn't understand what was going on. They've put all of the aces together, like all the tens are together. I just couldn't understand what's going on. It's like, I can't be missing it all the time. Ace of Cups, here it is. Okay, it says here, the suit of emotion. Wow, this cup is overflowing with opportunity. It has been offered to you by divine powers to tell you that an opportunity of love, creativity or fulfillment is coming your way. Do you accept this offering? Upright, it's new love, creativity, emotional awakening, fulfillment. Reversed is emptiness, block creativity, loneliness, intuition. Very simple. This is a perfect beginner deck. Perfect. And if you're looking for a luxury beginner deck that's fun, appeals to your inner child, you can see the grin on my face. Um, yeah, I, I, I would definitely, you know, I would definitely put this up there. 
So I'm going to stop there. That was a bit of a long walkthrough, but I enjoyed doing that. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me back here again. My creatures are with me. Um, an idea I had a few days ago actually was to perhaps do a um, video on um, creepy books uh, for the season and not just your you know, contemporary fiction horror, but some of the more old fashioned Victorian stuff that you see there, the Victorian stuff, the Edwardian. Um, let's just go back a few hundred years. That's where I belong anyway. Um, but anyway, until um, the next video, have a wonderful evening or day wherever you are. I hope you're getting cozy too. I hope you're ready with your jumpers hibernating somewhere. Um, and I will see you all soon. And thank you again for joining me. I'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye.